the preseason, so to speak, is in the books. Now the real fun begins. That next step towards Grand Junction, Colorado. Now Big Blue goes to bat against Indian Hills. The Falcons come to town having scored 67 runs in their last five games. Iowa Western ready to roll in game one. First inning, Tyler Reichenborn belts one down the line. Hagen Homestead, who walked, comes around, and the home team's on the board. Two zip, top of the third. Dylan Nelson rocks one to right. The visitors tie it right back up. Luis Jimenez bangs one up the box. Indian Hill scores three runs of the inning to go up by one. The Reavers retake the lead in the fourth. A couple of runners on and watch Zach Hanna. Strikes out, the pitch is blocked. He's safe at first, Nick Menken. Safe at home, 3-3 tie. Big Blue scores six runs in the inning. Jack Mora chops one to the right side. Everybody's safe, 6-3 Iowa Western. John Hawk right on the button. Cole Evans, Peter Hutz will come home, and it's 8-3 Reavers. Now the Falcons rip nine hits. Jimenez goes a gapping. Indian Hill scores two in the fifth and trails nine to five. But Big Blue comes back with four more in the sixth inning. Nick Menken sends a flare to left, drops in, another run scores. Iowa Western drills 13 hits overall. Hagen Homestead, one of four players with two or more, and the Reavers outscore the Falcons 13 to five. One of those little me integral things with that game was Minkin, you know, taking home when the catcher checks him and goes to throw the, the strike three ball to first base, the ball in the dirt. And uh, he pulled the first baseman off the bag, so he's safe at first, plus Minkin scores on that throw. And just the momentum side of that uh, was huge. Yeah, um, coach emphasizes it a lot. You know, in the middle innings, we got to win those because we'll score a couple in the first or second inning and then we'll uh, kind of set back on that. But, you know, we're doing a good job of putting uh, runs up in the middle innings. What do you think of your ABs? Uh, I mean, I felt like I had some good at bats. I had one pretty bad at bat on uh, my second at bat. Guy on second, two outs and I struck out looking, but I came back the next at bat and found a way to get on for the next guy to come up and hit us in. The biggest thing I did, also, honestly, JJ, is I've left him alone. I, I haven't talked to him today, um, and that's, you know, I mean, that's probably not a punishment, that's probably a reward for them, uh, but uh, not, you know, just kind of letting them play. Iowa Western steps into conference play and lets her rip, literally. One down, three to go. <laughs> Round two with Indian Hills. Home team trails one nothing, third inning. Kobe Highland doubles to left. Later, two on, Tyler Reichenborn singles through the hole. Highland and Chris Boschway come around and it's two to one Reavers. Fourth inning, third baseman Hagen Homestead. A diving play. Five, four, three, double play. It helps because next batter, Will Zimmerman pulls a Ryan Conley pitch right down the line. A solo shot for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The Falcons punch another run across in the seventh to go up three to two. Horacio De Leon and Indian Hills pitching. Strikes out five. Gives up just five hits. The Birds throw out Iowa Western by one. Lately, you know, people talk about this being a big rivalry, and it's absolutely no uh, knock on, on an Indian Hills program or anything like that. Just, you know, lately, I mean, we've won the region the last 12 years. Right. Um, and so even though that they have been talented, um, you know, we just need to take care of our business. The Reavers take care of business the next day, winning 7-5 to five and 5-1. Five to one. Big Blue now 3-1 and one in the Iowa Community College Athletic Conference. Marshalltown is 4-0. Oh.